Hey, ready? Here we are. I think we got it working. Just so you know, I only see me. I don't see your screen. Well, that is not, that's an issue on your side. Here, I'll. Um, if it's lit up on mine, it's saying it's sharing. Is everybody in the house watching? Uh, uh, oh, Lu Lucian's actually the only one here, and but he might have like four things going. Who knows? <laughs> uh, that's too funny. Well, what I can do is why don't you? I'll I'll just hide your camera for right now. Okay. And then. Uh, that way you can turn off the video, so maybe I can actually share with you. Uh, I think I might well, have to actually, we might have to restart the call. Okay. Oh, can you see my screen? Because now at least I'm getting a message saying stop sharing, which I wasn't before. I cannot. I don't have my camera on anymore. Yeah, I know. Let's call back real quick. We're this far in just to start over. <laughs> All right. Hey, technical difficulties. Right, wouldn't be fun without it. Call you back. Wouldn't be computer programming if it wasn't. <laughs> listen to a little bit of music real loud. Uh, maybe there's a way that I can try in the future to figure out how to stop the, uh, the Skype music reduction. That's what causes that. So... While we wait for Pete, I want to start taking a look at what we have here. So what what I have done um, so I modeled some of this stuff off of the what uh, Mark is doing over at Code Rush, uh, which was which was very neat. Um, so I like the idea of like having this the bot separate. So we separated out the bot, um, and this is using the Twitch bot uh, lib or a Twitch lib, um, which is available on on GitHub, and they have a a new Git package for it, which is nice. Um, so similarly to the way that Code Rush had done it, I was using um, signal R to actually dispatch uh, messages out to the web browser um, in this receiver here. So we actually get set up the hub signals so that way we can get in the messages when uh, it picks up some information from Twitch. Uh, additionally, uh, I set up basically a background worker um, on the ASP.NET application. So really all this is doing is taking those messages coming in from uh, taking the messages that are coming in from the Twitch library, the Twitch client, and passing them along via this here out to excuse me, out to the uh, browser. Um, We've actually got two different events that we're capturing on. One is on command receive, which in this case for the way Twitch works is that this comes in when it's got a bang. 
So if it starts with a bang, that actually executes it as a command. Um, additionally, hmm, I'm going to try contact calling back into Pete. Um, <laughs> we're just listening to the call happen. I guess this is our first time trying to do a Friday uh, stream, and I guess all we're going to run into are problems. Um, <laughs> yeah, so th this is kind of what we have set up. So getting back to what we were talking about here. So we have this stuff that we can respond to um, when a user types in a message into the chat. We want to be able to respond to that. Additionally, we're going to have the... Um, the commands also be able to respond to those types of things. So we're trying to figure out what we actually want to be able to do. Um, at the moment, we've only implemented a few items. Um, I, right now, we can, if you if we send in the high com high peak command, or we do a yell or a welcome. Oh, there you go, Pete's back. Hey. Hey. I don't know what all that was, man. I um I had like four Skype processes running that I had to go kill. Uh, so I, don't know that, I don't know what that was. Yeah. But oh I think my that could have been the problem. <laughs> so. Yeah, but you reboot this. You rebooted. I know. That's the part that's strange. So, really awesome. Uh, the tree that came down when we got that storm. Uh huh. The guys are here to uh, chop it up. Wow, okay. But so, I just heard the chainsaws get started. Well, if it makes you feel better, I can't hear it. Yeah, I don't see it uh, popping up on the mic. So hopefully hopefully nobody else hears it. Because that's really, it's like, it sounds pretty loud. Oh, um, so oh. I am I don't have my cam on. Um, if we dare go that far, let me know. We'll try it again. But for now, I'm going to leave it off. Yeah, I think right now, let's we'll just leave it off. Um, you can see my screen now, right? I can. Everything seems to be fine now. Whatever those other Skype instances yeah. were doing, I think they were bogging my system down. So. Yeah. So one of the things, so something I got yesterday, I was going to mention it earlier, but we were having so much fun. Yeah, um, right. So I ended up getting this ergonomic mouse. So it's basically the same as the MX mouse, except it's at like a, a 70 degree angle. So you'll be able to see it on the on the camera here. I'm trying to. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of light, so it's tough to see. I actually have the stream on, so. Yeah. I'm, I'm seeing it like a minute later. <laughs> yeah. So you can take a look at it, but it was like so. The idea is that then I don't have to turn my hand all the way, and I don't have to squeeze it to move it around. All right. So you can kind of push it around the desk. Yeah, it makes it easier to work with for my hand with all the the stuff I got going on. That's cool. Yeah. And it's still a mouse. You didn't have to go the trackball route. So. Yeah, I avoided the trackball. I, was, I tried both out, actually, because they had them both at the store. So I was trying them out to see which one seemed like it would work better. Mm -hmm. um, the trackball, they didn't have one of the big ones. And so they only had the thumb trackballs that were supposed to be part of the ergonomic. But it, it actually was hurting my thumb too much. Ah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Seems like you're doing it. You seem pleased with it. I don't know. So. Yeah, so far it's much easier to use. I'll tell I'll tell you that much. Um, I may actually end up using this forever, like when I'm doing like work. It's not it's not as comfortable for gaming, but um, definitely yeah. for working. Huh. That's pretty cool. I'll have to check it out next time I see you. Yeah, I'll bring it. I'll bring it with me. 
Um, so I was going through while I was waiting for you to get back, just like how this stuff was set up. Um, mm -hmm. And I was just getting to the part about how this is the portion that is receiving the, after the, the Twitch command comes in, it gets marshaled out to signal R. And um, this is the portion of code that actually does that, right? This is the, the piece that sets up that connection. Okay. Um, and I was explaining the fact that we got these commands here. So we can do a command or a message. Um, so this was the last one I had gotten to yet. And so on the message side, it just basically does a toast onto the screen for it. Um, right. And that's how we were showing like the, the comments and when the, the, you know, we were trying to show when people came in as well, which we were kind of failing at, I think. But um, that's how when we were putting the comments up in the toast, right? Was happening yeah. This, this piece right here. Yeah. So what I wanted to do here is we can actually um, we can get this running because I, I do have... We have the overlay in there now. So now that's all set up properly. Cool. Um, you know, that white screen there actually lights me up enough now. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Uh, so we can actually do, I'll do it this way so we can do I'll connect it over here, too. So now um, if you were to want you to type something in there into the chat. Yeah, just do a quick type into the chat. Give us a little something that comes up here. Because I can even do something. Hey, there it goes. Yep. Yep. So those pop up there. Oh, you know what's interesting? I'm not seeing the... Uh... Oh, you know what? It's interesting. There's... Let's try... Uh... Yeah, so it's not popping up on the screen. Let me try... Oh, wait a minute. I know why. So when I run it from the command line, it runs on the 5,000. So I had changed it to be running on the 5,000. And so... So, so the stream lab, see it? So yeah, so I did do a quick uh, transition there. So now... <clears throat> There we go. Now you can see the messages popping up on the screen. Yeah, very good. All right. So, yeah. And the other example I was trying to present, too, is that if you do um, the command, which is with the, the bang, that will actually send in the uh, send it to this execute command versus down here to this receive message, which does the toast. Um, we still never ended up here in the audio, though, did we? No, we did. Oh, did you? Oh, I didn't hear it. I wasn't listening for it this time because the uh, Skype turns down the stream. I can... Oh, yeah. Yeah. But you heard it previously? Yeah. I remember we were hearing it there. We were pretty pleased with it. You you, uh, you, you worked it out with that, the way that that uh, had to do with the way the promise works or something. That was the error that came out. That wasn't what it was. It was... Uh, yeah, the, the part that I'm... So I didn't hear it. Oh, you know what? It was actually... Oh, shoot. I think I know... <laughs> the pretzel track smith. Pretzel rock smith just popped up. Um, shoot. I think we fixed it in OBS. So... To, like, engage it, you mean? So that it just engages the, the page? Because that's a problem we were having, was that it wouldn't... That's why I had that, that goofy button on there. Yeah. The So the issue... So what it ended up being was uh, a command line switch. Right? Mm -hmm. So... I don't think... So I don't have it there. Um, did I put it on this one or did I put it on my other laptop? Oh, I put it on my other laptop. Let me, uh, let me open that up. I got that on the, on the other side here. Uh, I hope, I hope that we're, I'm going to be able to get some help with getting Skype to work through the NDI stuff because I'd really like to not have 
the stream depend on the machine I'm actually working on. Yeah. Um, yes, it was OBS. Yeah, ah, okay. So, shoot, I would have to stop the stream to get this going. But I'm going to make the change to the command line now. Okay. So, um, what it is, and I'm hoping I can just do it here, is that I have to do a dot no user gesture required. Uh, yeah, so that looks good. Uh, yeah. gonna continue. Um, I think I'm going to actually do that on here as well. Ah, I didn't mean to start up. <laughs> I double clicked it instead of. No user. All right, so that's good. Save that. Yeah, so that actually, so that'll be good. Um, so there is actually sound that's happening, but uh, we're not going to be able to hear it. Um, <laughs> actually, you know what? If I try doing it now, because now I've clicked in here, we'll actually hear it come out of the the stream, like because this will play through the desktop. Oh. You know what's weird? I don't think I'm hearing all the sounds at the moment. That's really strange. Um, seems like I should. Oh. Oh. Why is that not happening? Hmm. Huh. See, everything else though... I don't know. I'm not hearing it. But what's interesting is I can tell, like, that the pretzel rocks must be playing because I can see it moving on the meter. <laughs> not fun. All right. So what do we want to do? Um, yeah, so, yeah, we were working on, like, that welcome thing, but we found that it doesn't engage until like you've been around for a while, right? That was the last thing we were working on? Yeah, that was the last thing we were playing around with. Um, <clears throat> but I was thinking we could try... Maybe try making... I don't know. I was thinking that it would be... There was, so there was two things I was thinking. One, I was thinking it would be good to have um <clears throat> the messages or the whoa the the commands be available from like be able to configure the commands like what we're accepting and what we want it to do uh, okay that that really is related to the idea that um we can actually tell whether we want it to go to, like, whether we want to send it out through the signal or not. Okay. That's... Right, because we don't necessarily want to put everything out to that web page, right? Right. Like well, like, if there's something that we want to have it respond in the chat with, right? Mm -hmm. That we yeah, don't want to the... send out. Right, because the chat client's actually in here. <clears throat> so uh, this is, we wouldn't yeah. need to send it up to the web page to do anything. We can actually deal with it right, Correct. right in here. So. Correct. Yeah, so that, is kind of, that, was the, that was kind of the thought, right? So um, I was picturing, hmm, I don't know what I'm picturing. Um, well, what command would you like to give it? Do you think that would make it? Because really, we can just start doing something, right? Ultimately. Yeah. Well, I think the the part of it is, um, we need to do something like 
we're going to need to do like a find command or execute command and then just pass in uh, okay and then we'll have like a type of command that would have the yeah so I think it would have to take like would take this right so I imagine us having a class that would be uh which, or we'll just do bot command, right? And then we would have a um, command text. Uh, that string. Uh, so interesting. <laughs> we actually have two different types of things that we're going to be dealing with, right? So. One are going to be the configured bot commands, and one are going to be the the command for execution. Um, I don't know what. So this would have like just this, and we would actually have something like. Now, what's going in that command text property? Is that like an identifier kind of thing, or is that what we're trying to match? Like what? That's what we're trying to match, right? So okay. let's look at... So, so that should match the user input coming in. Right. Okay. Um, uh, so let me just do... Let's do the list. And this is going to be a bot command. Um, so for right now, we'll just do... Uh, like so, so right now for commands, all we have are the um, the, the high P, high P, and the yell. Oh, and the yell, right? So, um, let's do the new list. Let's do... Yeah, so hi, Pete. And then what was the other one? Who was Yell? Sorry, I had a mouthful of coffee. <laughs> All right, so... Ooh. That, we just need to have something here. Should we accept a command that's like like commands to just list them all to? No. Okay. Uh, so the reason is because it's more than just the string, right? Because we actually have to tell it what we want it to kind of do with it. Like where does it get routed? So it's like this is like a message router in a sense, a command router. Okay. Um, and they must have a bunch of people out there. Sounds like dueling chainsaws. <laughs> I can't hear anything through your mic, so. I, I'm glad that the noise canceling is working good. Because uh, I definitely hear it. Why is this not wanting to format automatically for me? Yeah, right? Normally it's always so aggressive about it. <laughs> yeah, what are... What's it doing? Like, it doesn't... Are you running or something? No. No. I don't know. That was weird. It's being silly. Um, so, like, right now, this is, like, what we kind of have as far as commands. Um, we... The, the question is what kind of stuff we want to be able to do with it, right? So... You know, a good example with this is that we actually want to do something like, um, I don't know, maybe make this like a, a thing so you can do like uh, a send to, oh, maybe this is why it's yelling at me, maybe because of this. 
Ah, because you have an error above it, probably. Yeah, That's probably why I wasn't doing your formatting as well. Maybe. Seems out of scope, but... Um, so this we could have like a bool and we could say uh, send to... Uh, send to web. Okay, and that's what'll ship it. Yeah. Um. I feel like it should be maybe more something like, jeez. Uh, like maybe like output or something like that. Like... Um. Handler maybe. Hmm. Okay. Let's do maybe... Because that gives you the... If you do it as a handler, if you did it as like a collection of handlers too, you could send it to both. Like you could send something up to the screen and reply back potentially but oh. separately. You know what I mean? We wouldn't have to nestle that code together. We could actually handle it in two modules and load them both up. Right, right. So Ooh. not that we couldn't do it. Like we could code it in and still accomplish it, but that, that might be better. Yeah. Um, so now I'm trying to think, like, we probably should do this more as, like, a, like that. Maybe make it an interface. Okay. That way we can, uh, I feel like I'm over-engineering this before, when I should. Maybe a little bit. I, I don't know, it's hard to say. Yeah, right? Um, I, I feel like I want to change this, the name of this, right? Because I think I want the bot command to actually be the command that's coming in. Hmm. You know? Okay, so, so that's a, it's like the user command, really, or the, the... To me, I was thinking, like, definition. Okay. Right, because this is not the command that's actually being executed. This is the definition for all the commands. Right. Because what's going to actually, what I what I see happening. Well, it's like an abstract, I guess. Is what you're saying. But... Yeah. Well, because this itself is like. You know, we're going to have high Pete as a command that's available, but the one that's actually getting executed is is this one. So to me, this is the bot command, right? So I, I think I'm thinking of, so part of what I'm thinking of is the fact that we're going to have um, this handler needs to get the command, right? So that's where this. So that's going to get the definition or the command. It's going to get the actual command. The actual command. Yeah, because that's what we're going to actually pass in there is here's the command that we've received from the user. Here's the command we've received from the, the chat, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And so then on this, this will actually be like um, this could still have the command text. Well, now, would you inherit this off the definition? No. It has nothing to do with the definition, right? So it's a it's a different concept completely. So this would be like the metadata about the command, okay? And like how the command's going to be executed, who's the runner of it, that kind of stuff. Um, whereas this is the actual command that we're receiving that we want to uh, execute. Um, So this would have, oh, yeah. this should be lowercase, and this would be the args. And then we can new this up. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Uh, I'll do pass in the args. Uh, we're going to. So now, is this going to have like a an execute method in here somewhere? 
That's this right here. That's that. Okay. Yeah. So. So the idea is that what we're going to do is we're going to take in. Whoa, Here, let me just get these in here. I was hoping I could just do it really easily, but uh, I think Visual Studio is not happy with me for some reason. Even though I rebooted. It's that weird purple dot you got up top there on your right side. You see it? In your scroll area. Uh, oh, yeah. That's probably something. Um... So we're going to have the command. So now here's what I'm th thinking, right? So now we can have, um, here we can do, wow, that is crazy. Huh. All right. Um, now we can do a class where we can have, um, you know, a signal. Um, right. And so then this will inherit the ibot command. So let's implement that interface. And then here is where we can now take this command and do something with it, right? So right. in the case... And that's going to have the actual executable code, right? It's going to like draw yeah, something to the screen or put something back. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's this here. Um, and then this would just take that... Now, don't have. So we would need to do. To make this work the same, we'll just join it. So this is the args. We'll oh, okay. join it with. Uh... Oh, it goes in front. Right, so now we can. Basically, it's going to pull it all together for us and basically okay. do the same thing. Now, what we are missing in here is the fact that we need the uh, the hub. So that we're going to have to add in here as private. Uh, um, but we do need to get that in. Okay, though. Start. Yeah. There. Starting to see how this is coming together. Okay, cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I thought I put that in. So, oh, that was unintended. All right, so now what, what I've got here, right? So now we've got this command handler. And now this will actually be able to do this for all, all the ones that we want to have this as the handler, right? What mm -hmm. this, what's really nice about actually doing it this way is that we can now create different types of handlers. Mm -hmm. So we can do them as we want, right? So yeah, here, so we can further break out that, that like, what's the different classes if we had other things we wanted to do, potentially. That's what you're saying? Like, we could have a bunch of different handlers. Yeah, we could create all sorts of different stuff. Um, but I'm not sure... Oh, why can't we just be nice here? Oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. It was way down there buried. All right, so now what we can do here is, like, you know, for both of these, it would be the... Um, uh, signal R command handler. Do you have a hub? I do not. Yeah, sat along as well. Huh? Yeah, well, that's because I put this in the builder. <clears throat> I thought it was actually within the... Um, actually, you know what? I probably should put this in the constructor. Just because. There you go. Huh. Yeah. There we go. So now we can do that. Right. So now we're now we're building up our definitions. We've got all those. We got 
We got all of them. All two. Um, uh, maybe, yeah. All right, so that's, I think, reasonable. Um, so now all we would, what we would need is something to actually find it so now the question is where do we want to do that right mm -hmm. so part of this is going to be like here i think um we actually don't need that there anymore um oh what is that well that's so that it doesn't react to those users because remember we were trying to make it react when you came in yeah 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 no no no, no i know okay what All it, right. this the semicolon right there oh what it's is like that a, it's like in a weird spot huh. um uh sorry got slacked I think it was just on the wrong line, so it was weird. But I was wondering what happened to it when I when I did it. Um. So do again, where I just want to do it as a read-only list. We'll do a bot command definitions. I feel like we're gonna move this out of here at some point. Uh huh. So now we can do that. Now the part here is instead of doing this, I want to take this and do command equals new bot command. There's a bunch of stuff on this command, though. Yeah, there is. I guess there's, do we there's... need that? I don't. I think command identifier is always the same, regardless. Like you'd have to change it on your site, I think. Now, what would those arguments come in as? Can you just pass stuff? Like, it's, what is that list? It's the everything after the command with spaces. Okay, so everything that, that you put a space in after you do a bang command right that's the whole argument list okay 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 okay, okay. i think i remember that now even i mentioned it yeah so so now we just do this we're going to do uh, first or default and we're going to have command text is equal to the command right Then we should be able to do def dot handler dot handle like that. So this should now this should actually still work exactly the way it did before. Let's let's give it a try here. So something I want you to try as well when you say like well, so it's like the yell, right? So the yell takes is what comes in as that argument. We, mm -hmm. You were passing it as a, a an argument as string because you wanted the whole message to get said. <clears throat> but we should really handle that independently. Uh, like we should handle them as as their own. Oh, what? All right, 
So that's up and running. So why don't you do do a high peat with like some extra stuff on it? All right. So additional params we're looking for. Some yeah. So you can see we get the the command, mm -hmm. and then on here, so we have the the right, list. Okay. So this way we can actually send in switches to it. You know, so you can do a command and have it do a bunch of other stuff as well. Right, right. You really could play games and stuff through it if you wanted to. Oh. Because you have a real robust command system available to you. Yes. So you can do all the arguments and stuff like that, right? So let's see if this actually works. Oh. Um, I don't think it did. It's kind of hard to tell. All right, why don't you try it? Um, try it again here. With, with command arg, like with arguments. Yeah. I'm going to step through it and make sure it's actually hitting it. Because maybe it didn't. Right, so. Hmm. Huh. So that should have worked. Command high P. Did not see it. Oh, there it goes. Did it? I saw it, on, I saw it on the stream. Oh, okay, good. So it's just, it must, it must flash so fast. I oh, think that's... that's I think is that that's the first one? Maybe the stream... I don't know. Okay, I did see it, though. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, because this is the command there. Wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because they're calling execute command. That's right. So that comes into here. Let's make this like, oh, half a second. So one of the things I'm going to have to set up is, or I should maybe try doing it here is, um, So one of the things I needed to make an alternate screen, so because the um, like the overlay in in OBS won't like automatically reload the page, so it only reload if I I reload the the um, scene. Okay. So. Uh, I should probably the, on this. the little intricacies, right? That you pick up from playing around with it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know if you heard, but uh, Twitch actually just came out with their own uh, studio for connecting up with it. Uh, might be worth a look. Yeah, they. But the, I mean, there is their goal was different than like the Streamlabs or people that are doing stuff in OBS. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was more to make it so that it was more intro friendly, so people could get started easier. Okay, so but it does, does it have like the advanced features kind it, of stuff. It does not. That's the thing. It's like they they didn't really try to make it where it's a complete, um, you know, a hundred percent complete advanced system. Mm -hmm. Um, but it was trying to make it so that people didn't have to be. You know, experts before starting in it, so that was good. Um, here, why don't we try try center now? Oh, I don't want that break point there. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we can I can see it. I looks I left it up there a little bit longer. Um, which I'm sure that's what you really wanted to have when people say hi, Pete. 
to see your face bigger or longer. Totally. That's why it's there. All right. So this is, so this is generally working. I'm not sure I like this idea of having this work like this at the moment. Um, but I just haven't figured out how I want to do it otherwise. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, dude. It's like, oh, came in, fish it out, do its thing. I, you know. Yeah, well, yeah. There's more things that we could actually do. That's why it's kind of like, would be nice. Um, but so now we just need to come up with the definition. So we need to have... Um, yeah, so I think... That's pretty good. Uh, oh, you know what would be actually interesting? So, like, why don't we try doing a um, a different kind of one, right? So let's do one where we actually chat back, right? Because we actually have in the thing to do a bang bot. Mm -hmm. To bang a bot. Um, so why don't we make... Why don't we set up a class that is going to be um, help bot man handler let's then implement that and then so in here for us to send something back um, we had we had it yeah I had an example of it but now I can't find See, it would be um, send message. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I almost think I want to write a wrapper on this, but because having to put we, in that channel seems weird. I thought we had something that was right now because that's how we were trying to do it when people joined we just were not capturing it oh there we go so we just do it on the bot all right so which is good so what i can do is now uh on here we're going to need to take not only this but twitch bot and then that we will declare i do declare All right, so now we can do that one, and then here we're going to take that. Um, All right. Oh, wait, I don't want to do it as a well. All right, so now here, now we should be able to <clears throat> do our send message, right? Mm -hmm. Now we can say stuff like uh, available commands or let's say, let's say type bang hi. So there we go. We can do that. So then on here, let's add it. Um, Just help or? No, no, because we have actually oh, already got it bot. in the message. Well, the message already has it. Oh, that's right. The bank bot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To see what I can do. That thing. Right, right. Hey, I'm all here to help. Yeah. So... So now we should be able to do that, and then I should be able to just switch that. Oh, no. what you do? Oh, I didn't add bot to this. Which makes sense. Uh, you did see I uploaded the previous stream, right? 
to YouTube? Mm -hmm. I did not see, but thank you. I appreciate it. I saw it was up on here, but, you know, Twitch captured it. Yeah, I did it like pretty much like it was funny because you had sent the thing saying something about it. And it's like mm -hmm. I already already started the upload. So. Oh. Crazy trying to keep on top of all this promotional stuff, right? I know. Just with everything that we're doing right now. I know. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Right? Uh, trying to work a job, too, right? Yeah. Hey, look at that. See? It came up in the chat. Uh, oh, yeah. Maybe you didn't see it. Maybe you should. You can give it a I try. I see it too. in the chat. Yeah. I see it on the stream. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's where it would see. So. Oh, didn't pop. Wait a minute. I Why didn't... is it not on the stream? Yeah. So it pop on the web page, but not on the stream. Try, try it again. Actually, it's going to yell at you if you do just. Oh, repeat. it's the same one. Yeah, it doesn't like the same messages twice. Huh. Huh, 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 huh. Did it not happen at all? I don't think so. No, no, no. It definitely happened because I saw it on the on the web page. Try. Uh... It's like the, uh, let me try something here. Oh, you know what? All right. So what I need to do is remove it from this one. <sighs> okay, weird. All right. Let's try it again. <laughs> there it is. All right. So here's the lesson learned. When you... Uh, so what I did is I set up a separate scene, but I still had the web page on there. And the way the web page is set up is that, or that the web overlay is that it shuts down source when not visible. So I had two source, or I had two scenes that had the same, uh, had it on there both. So it never actually disappeared. So it was never actually reloading. Oh, if that makes sense. So what, it I, does. <laughs> so, so what I did is I took the one that has it and I just duplicated it and I figured I could just switch back and forth between those two, which I couldn't. Apparently I couldn't because of the fact that it, they both had that same web page set up on it. So I removed it from my alternate one. This way I can basically switch to one that looks just like our screen, except it doesn't have the overlay and then back to the one that does. Okay. So... Here, I'll bring it over here on the stream. So you can see I had the screen alt. And so I, I took away the overlay page. And so okay. basically every time I go back to the live screen, um, it will reload it. So. And that will freshen up the web page? Yeah, yeah. So that'll be good. But we can see the... Uh, so now we can see that the, the chat is happening, right? So... Um, this is, oh, I just stopped it. <laughs> yeah. I, I noticed that after I typed it, I was like, oh, that's not going to happen. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so now we've got all this stuff in here. Now the question, the thought that I'm, I have is whether we need to have this here. Like, could, could we put this stuff in the bot? Uh, maybe I'll try it. Maybe we can try to do that another time. Um, 
the other thing so the uh, maybe the other piece that would be good to try to figure out is do we want to have a chat like kind of create some kind of chat handler because like in here we have this right for the command for just the generic like the, the bang commands um I, I don't understand what you're saying i guess what do you mean by so that? so right now when we receive a message right so somebody types in a message that doesn't have a bang on it right we we post it to the screen and it puts the toast up right right but what it's actually doing here is it's running it's calling the signal r command called receive message Right, which is different than a, a command. Actually, that's a good point. So I, uh, now that I said that, this probably should actually be uh, something like signal r command like that. Um, command bot command handler. I know. Signal r command bot command handler. I know. I'm not sure. Let's do. Uh, ah, just leave it for right now. I'm trying to think of what because this other thing is going to be a similar idea, but it's not. This is going to be a message handler. Maybe we, that's what I was going to try to make the difference was the message. Oh, maybe what we want to do is. I'm trying to think of what we want to do with this, right? Because this may be oh. worth having its own thing altogether. Right. Well, we're calling all this other stuff command. Like maybe there should be a message. Mm hmm. Like, like, you know, something that looks like that command set up. Yeah. Cause I was actually thinking it would be neat to be able to have independent message handlers. I was thinking about whether we would want to do it as a pipeline, but I don't know if that's necessary. Um, so we have, let's do this. All right, so let's do let's do it like this. So we're going to have an interface. Let's start with an interface for um, message handler. And you want to hot? Yeah. I know. I'd like to. I was. I wanted to try doing a project where I don't use the ion uh, interfaces, but it's such a standard. Um. Oh, this. This is the interface. We're just going to do handle. Um, do that. So, how does it end up looking? Um, I can hear your phone ringing. Yeah, what the heck is that? What? How's what looking? Um, I was wondering how similar those two handlers are, the message handler and the command handler. They have different, they have a different signature. So, hang on a second, John. Mm -hmm. So that bot message, that's strictly an incoming, right? That is strictly an incoming. So it's like a user message, really. Because I'm thinking, like, if the bot is going to ever talk back, are we going to? Oh, we're going to have it separate. I mean, we could. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not against na renaming this. Um, I mean, well, here's the thing. Right now, all bot this. messages is a string, right? Because all we're doing is passing it to that same message. So do we need an object? Probably not. 
depends on what kind of controls we need to have around it eventually. Yeah. So anyway, that's what I was thinking when I saw that name. I was like, mm. yeah. And let's actually now that we've done that, let's actually change this then to. Um, and then, so what? I, so the reason I was thinking about doing the interface here, right, was I was thinking the my thought was do this where it will be like we can create handlers for doing different things based on what they type in, right? So here we could have like so right now the only one we have is um, uh, toast message. This is where this stuff gets crazy. <laughs> I, I feel like there's a naming problem that we're having here. Right, so thing here is that now we can do that. We need to add this to it oh that is not what I was trying to do oh my goodness I gotta get better on my shortcuts here with the uh, code rush so I'm just not as comfortable with it oh something that takes time yeah so then here now we can take this put this in here um this will actually actually you know what we could actually just change this from that we'll just pass the message straight through okay yeah right there you go. And just... Yeah, so... I don't think we need that one anymore. Maybe that's a better way of doing it. Making it... Maybe it should be called chat message. Yep. Maybe, maybe I should just use that. You know what I mean? Like, it's all this stuff that's like received message handler. Maybe we just do chat message handler. You still have a a which direction kind of question though with that name. I don't know if we do because it's not a bot message. Mm, that's true. That's you know what true. I mean? Those those would be bot messages coming out. Yeah. Or at least you can make it that way. Right. Because the bot message isn't going to, like, be sending itself a message. There. All right. So here's the, the big difference on what I wanted to do with this. Um, I want to do this here for right now. But I want to do an... Um, I want to have a list of uh, these handlers. Okay. Um, the idea being that we can have multiples, mm -hmm. and it'll just run all of them. Mm -hmm. like, a, like an event stack. Right. So that is weird that it's doing that. Um, uh, shoot, what was it? This was toast. Yeah. That's all we got right now, right? Yeah. So we'll just put that in there. 
So then down here, we're going to do for each. There, and then just do handle. Handle. Oh, did I not call it handle? <laughs> handler, handler. <laughs> yeah. Um. What do you pass? It? It's like the. Does the box get that? And the. Does it get the hub? You know, it's no, it's. I, it's the chat message, right? Oh. So that's that's what I need to actually pass in is this chat message. Okay. Um, the thing is, is that it, we have to new it up, and I took out the code for that new up. And that's why I was just like, ah, oh, it would really have it would have been nice to have had that. Um, I think I can either do it through that. I can actually do it here as well. Um, yeah. Compare with unmodified. Uh, I can get. Here's what I was looking for. Yeah, so now I can use that piece. There we go. So now I can handle new chat message. There we go. Oh. <clears throat> so. That's what, okay. What's that? So that goes in there, and then that's okay. Just trying to follow along, man. Yep. So, yeah, so now we've got that in there. So we could even do stuff like, so what? what's nice about it this way is that we could add handlers to do different things. We don't have to have a giant freaking uh, one method statement trying to handle all the different cases that we want. Um, we can just add, create new handlers for it and add it to the list. So, okay. you know what we could... Uh, I'm wondering if hmm. 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 Yeah. I'll try to figure it out later. I was trying to think if there was a way for us to just um I was trying to figure out if there's a way for us to get this. You know, we could actually do something where we register all these with the um the IOC, and we can do something where we can bring it out from there to load up that that list here of the of handlers. Yeah, so we can we can do a thing where we can say like get services of type T, and it'll give you the whole list of all of them, and then we can right. populate that. What's nice about that too is that all these constructors that have like if we need to have the bot or the hub in there, it'll automatically populate those for us. Because they're already in the in the IOC. That's pretty cool. Okay. So, so I think that might be, and that may be something similar that we do with this. You know what I mean? So we can kind of move some of that stuff up out of the stack here. But let's make sure this works because we just changed all that. Um. So. So this is just type, right? Yeah. Oh, it's still working. Yeah. That's um, all we needed to see, really. That is. That puts us good. All right, cool. So now that's good. Yeah, so that's that's pretty awesome. I think that um, with that we should now we should be able to try to make some other uh, commands here, right? So let's maybe even make let's add one for um, uh, other commands or message processors. No, other commands. I, I can't think of any message processors just yet. Like, I mean, I mean, it's not that we couldn't come up with something. 
What command are you thinking? Um, I was thinking, so maybe like we can do something where, um, I was thinking of like an example is like, maybe we could do something where we do like, uh, you know, like that. Uh, I'm trying to, I don't know. This is the one thing I was thinking of. It's like something to, oh, you know what? Um, let me just do info to get, uh, right. So do something like that and then we can, um, And then is that going to... Whoa, why did it mark these all as partial classes? That is odd. What's up with that? I don't know. I guess I just thought I was trying to do... Hmm. I don't know. Come on, John. Twitch bot. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. All right, good. So that. And then this is going to throw <clears throat> message. Now, can you actually send out like a link? Yeah, I think so. That's what I was going to say. now don't we oh yeah that's good um and it's just uh mm -hmm. right? com. Com. Mm -hmm. i'll just do that for right now all right so that should get loaded up we gotta load that in the queue do we have to do that manually still yeah for the the bot commands we have to we have to define them why we have the yeah it's not too bad though no and honestly like this kind of stuff I mean it would be interesting with some of this I think we have to do it as code though we might be able to have something we might be able to do something like a generic oh, I wonder if we could do a generic message You know what? <laughs> so we could, right? I was just thinking about this. So instead of having that like that, we could do class um, uh, uh, chat response command, um, command handler, right? Okay. And then we just have. So we'll take like all this. But then we can also take in a message. Oh. Right. Right. Right? Oh. And so then we could just do bot dot send message. Right? And then we don't need technically don't need these. Right, because we can just give it the message. Yep. So we take that, and then we take that. All right, so. Yep. I'm just going to make this. Oh, I got some ideas. 
<laughs> on what I want to do with this. Because um, I was looking at this piece and it's like, this is very wordy. I like this stream it that like slim it down a little bit mm. I don't need that one let me just take this one here. I want to create some some builders that's what I want to do so you don't have it. this list of slop <laughs> yeah yeah it's like a lot of stuff that's hard to see what it is all right so now That makes that easier. Oh, it's 527. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. Well, I'll just let's see if this works. And yeah. then... Check it in. Yeah. I can't I can't go over too much. So no, me, me neither. I got Christine waiting on me, so... Um... I should just make stream be the startup. I think I'm going to do that. Um, all right, so we should be able to give it a try there. So we should be able to do bang bot. Oh, you know what's interesting? We we it's um it's not uh case or it's case sensitive. So how does it have to be a lowercase bot? Yeah, which is why yours worked and mine didn't. Uh, oh, look at that. And it got us a piece of code. All right. Nice. All right. And the messages are coming out just like we wanted to. So I, I think we're in pretty good shape there. Um, I don't know. It's exciting. Yeah, we got a little bit of something wrapped around us now instead of it just kind of, because we were just kind of laying it in there. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it was really just even trying to test it out, see if we can. Right, get feeling it. how that bot worked, even. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah. So there's a little different format to the uh, information page. I don't know if you saw that since we have the two streams on there now. Yeah, I saw that. I did. I looked at the, the message that you sent. Um, but yeah, I think that's good. I'm going to check this in. And then... Uh, let see, what did I change on here? Oh yeah, increase the delay. Um, oh, that must be from another time. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in there. All right, good. So, let me stage all of these. Um, created command structure. And chat message structure. Or chat messages. All right. Commit those in there. Working on right on master. We're doing trunk level develop, trunk blind development. <laughs> um, yeah, so I want to change this. I think I want to create either something on here or I want to create a um, extensions that will allow us to do these a little bit cleaner. So we'll, okay. we'll, yeah. we'll explore that next Friday. Well, I guess not next Friday. Yeah, next Friday you're going to be on the West Coast. Yeah, and I and you'll will be, be right in the middle of training. <laughs> yeah, shoot. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Awesome. Well, Pete, that was great. Even so, though it started off kind of yeah. rough. <laughs> Had a rough start. Yeah. Probably better off with me not being on video. I didn't shave today. I was looking a little rough when we started out. So. Yeah. <laughs> you know, All right. Well, awesome, man. Um, well, we won't be doing it next week, but. Um, Hopefully after that we'll, we'll yeah. get a uh, we'll get two in a week. So yeah. awesome. Sounds good. All right, man. I want to end the session here. All right.